Hi guys, this is Artem Warner from Light Lab Online. And a lot of people ask me about how to import 3D model in Dialogs EVA. First of all, what I want to tell you is that there are a lot of ways of uh, 3D modeling, and this is the very wide range. A lot of people uh, model in different programs, in different ways. And what I'm going to show you today is the best way that I think how to import 3D model in Dialogs EVA. The best, the easiest, and the fastest. Uh, so, enjoy the video! Hello everyone and welcome to a new tutorial about how to import 3D model in Dialogs EVA. This is very, very nice skill which will improve your uh, workflow very, very much. Because, uh, as you can see, this uh, scene in uh, Dialogs EVA and everything here is um, the custom non-standard uh, 3D models, so sofa, flowers, uh, TV, and the shelves, books, and so on, so on, so on. This sculpture as well. So, and you can see that the visualization is um, very, very nice, especially the picture here. So, and today I'm going to show you how to import 3D, uh, 3D model in the Luxio. So, uh, first of all, what I want to tell you is that a lot of people model in different ways. So, and there, are, there is no one way of uh, 3D modeling, there are a lot of ways, uh, plenty of ways. So, one guy's uh, model building in this way, another guy's model furniture in, in that way, so uh, plenty of ways. I'm gonna show you the best way, as I think, for Dialogs Eva. So, uh, first of all, what I'm gonna show you is this uh, very nice website, this 3dwarehouse.sketchup.com uh, so, uh, this is a website of free 3D models, so any 3D model you can download here for free. Uh, this website from SketchUp, this is also a very nice uh, and easy program. So, uh, what you can find here, uh, any, anything you want, just type here uh, what model do you need, so cars, uh, people, uh, furniture, chandeliers, buildings, flowers, so ev everything you want. So, uh, what I'm going to import in Dialogs EVA today is this sofa. Also, this link uh, I'm going to um, put on, on the video, under this video. So, and what you should pay attention for. So, first of all, this please uh, pay attention for um, uh, file size, because Dialogs don't like the huge 3D model, so it likes um, not the big one, so about the uh, 9 megabytes, it's so it's nice, so if, if there is 20 megabytes, 15, uh, it's maybe more uh, than Dialogs you can calculate, so ca how can you download this model here? Uh, this is the button da download, and this is the SketchUp uh, button. So, and you can put uh, download it uh, on your computer. So let's download on my desktop. Here, this is my desktop. Uh, so as you can see, this is Russian because my native language is Russian. So English not my native language. And let's say model. Okay, so let's download model here. What I advise you guys. So, and I clicked on the, this file, start uh, SketchUp, okay. And then, as SketchUp starts, uh, you should pay attention on one thing. Uh, Dialogs even don't like the flipped normals. So this is our model, and this is our textures. And you can find here uh, monochrome and you see here that these polygons are not white so and when I go uh, deep into the model I click right button and I click reverse faces so you model should be in one color so in monochrome style so this is my texture what I do then, so I choose all my model, then I click to file, export, 3D model, and then I go uh, again to my folder, 
and one i advise you so if you have uh, if you have uh, models for uh, dialysiva which you download from uh, sketchup so you should uh, save them in 3ds format so because dialux evo can calculate only in 3ds uh, models so you go to model and for every model you should create its own folder so for example model one model one let's type here model one and then in this folder you have options click uh, with your left button on the mouse left uh, to the options and then you see here this um, this check checkbox it's this export only current selection so I export only that model that I chose so in this scene in SketchUp I export only this model so and this scale is meters I usually prefer meters because that is Evo uh, work with meters so and then so this export current selection and meters okay export and as bigger your model and the longer this process of export sometimes it's very fast sometimes it's quite long if you work with especially with the um, buildings and if you make some I don't know conceptions or whatever so you should uh, wait sometimes for so long okay uh, when I see this icon this 3ds export results I can see all my results and then I should click I must click OK before I start to work with dialogues then let's uh, start the dialogues EVO and then let's make a room planning and make the standard room like length uh, 6 6 and 8 with 3 meters OK so this is my empty room I can click here and see all my room and then I should go to my folder uh, this is my uh, desktop this is model you see here the, this all the textures which were in our um, SketchUp file and this is the sofa and this is the 3ds model okay uh, I see my file here this is 3ds file and then I should drag and drop it to the my scene with dialogues okay you can uh, you can move it and you can rotate it and you can also scale it okay you see my sofa here let's put it uh, into the center of the room and then let's uh, make some lighting calculation uh, to see what we have okay let's click on select and select some luminous which we used before and let's choose some luminar let's see maybe okay maybe this one and let's make an automatic arrangement in this room because uh, we don't have any purposes here to eliminate something just to see how light distributes with this model uh, okay these three luminous and then let's start our calculation uh, pay attention that uh, when you start the calculation as many 3D models you have in this, uh, in this scene, as longer your calculation will be. So, this calculation doesn't take uh, a lot of time, because this is just one room, just one sofa, and this is, uh, this, these are just uh, some 9 luminars here. Yeah, I can, you can see here how light distributes, and then you can see some bugs here. And this is not the model, this is the Dialux Evo uh, box, but uh, in the newer version they uh, just uh, make it much better. So in this version this is quite nice and looks quite nice and you, doesn't see, uh, you don't see this box when you go just uh, not so close to these pillows and this sofa. So from this point this is quite, quite nice. So if you like the video, give the thumbs up and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon uh, so you will get immediately know if you if we gonna make a new video. And leave a comment below if you need some new tutorials about 3D modeling and about the Dialux Evo. See you in the next video.